Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my 100th Mint commercial. No, 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 don't, no, no, no. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I only have to do like four of these. I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash save whenever you're ready. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes. See details. This episode is brought to you by Allstate. Some people just know they could save hundreds on car insurance by checking Allstate first. Like, you know to check you have the tickets in your wallet first before you drive two hours to the big game. Seriously, you had one job. Now the closest you'll get to the 50-yard line is parking lot D. Yeah, checking first is smart. So check Allstate first for a quote that could save you hundreds. You're in good hands with Allstate. Savings vary. Terms apply. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Northbrook, Illinois. So growing up on the beautiful shores of White Bear Lake, where did you guys go for MEA weekend? You go to Willerney or where'd you go? Well, White Bear Lake. <laughs> they went to White Bear Lake <laughs> for MEA well, weekend. Well, I don't even think, did did uh, Catholic schools have MEA? You might not have. I don't I, think I don't we had think MEA. they did, yeah. No. In fact, uh, St. Gabe's, I don't think we got Thursday and Friday off. I think the truth of the matter is now, though, that they don't even have a teacher's convention anymore. But they still take the two days off. Right. Because it used to be they all come up to Minneapolis and St. Paul and oh, have and armfuls of, of folders. Lots and, of cocktails. Yeah. And a couple stuff of like weeks that. ago, uh, she handed me the boys' schedule because we switched schools this okay. year. And I looked and I said, they have about four weeks where they go all five days yes, the yeah, entire okay. year. I see the other day, a week ago, I saw the grandkids and on a weekend and I said, uh, and they said, well, Monday's a day off. I said, why? And they said, I don't know. It's just a day off. They're just taking Mondays off to have a teacher's meeting. So, uh, but the MEA, I looked at our parking lots here in the, uh, at Hubbard. Yeah. MEA weekend is now MEA week. Yes. They're uh, gone. They're, they're, nobody's working. There's 12 people in the building. It's incredible. And they all go to some exotic place. Yes, they do. You know, Belize. Where are your grandkids going to Europe? This year they're staying home. Oh no! Which is going to make them outcasts. Sure. Because you know, when they get back to school, by the way, I think a lot of schools are off Monday, right? Yes. They gave it up. They figured that nobody that nobody got, comes the back kids anyway. Get back, which just means all the families then expend, extend their vacation through mm. Tuesday. Yes, right. Yeah, <laughs> they they got to make. Sure, but they've already skipped Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to go to various places. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is amazing because uh, as much as we came to the Twin Cities as as a youth three or four times a year, or the cities as we call them. I bet got, that was an outing. Yeah, well, it was a drive oh, back then. Yeah. It was, you know, because the road was not good. He but, didn't zip up 35. No, none of that. So as much as we came up here, I don't think we ever did it on MEA weekend. You just took the day off, yeah. you know. So it's a, it's a quite the crazy trip. Now, last year, I think the uh, grandkids went to Red Rocks and stuff like oh, that. Boy. They went to Utah. And they sent out one of my favorite pictures of my granddaughter, one of my favorite photos. They're in the valley, and behind them are the Red Rocks, you know, yeah. this, this historical place. And she's sitting on a folder in the other direction on her cell phone. Oh, sending, no. <laughs> sending, you know, not, not giving a damn at all that uh, what would, behind uh, her is one of the great sights in the universe. Back in Fulda, what would compel Dad to grab Mom and the kids and get in the car and say, we're going to the cities? Well, relatives and yeah. just ball games, yeah. you know, you know. 
big, big sporting events like wrestling matches with Vern yeah, Gagne yeah, and stuff yeah. that the old man could go and root for the guy that was wrestling against Vern just to, <laughs> just to stir up the entire <laughs> crowd. Got to go see Uncle Frank and Don Helen and, uh, you know, relatives in the Twins. Twins City. games. And stuff. Dayton's. More than anything. Dayton's. Dayton's. Oh, boy. Everybody in my mom's bridge club yeah. had a Dayton's charge card. Oh, boy. Uh, you know, Dayton's account. I don't yeah. even know if they had a card then, yeah. but you could put her on the bill Yep. at Dayton's, and then the Dayton's bill would come a couple of weeks later. Boy, those were the days, huh? Oh, Dayton's ran the <laughs> opera. Dayton's was, that's all they, I once in, a, once in a while would get home and they would still be playing the the bridge game that they played every other week, and a lot of Dayton's talk in that. Uh, yeah. Did you, yeah, are you going to, we're going to Twin City, are you going to go to Dayton's? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you got to get go some stuff. Got to go to Dayton's and get stuff, yeah. Get a Madras shirt. Yes, <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> something like that, something like that. Did so you, you did not... You you put your game to a test yesterday and missed the entire Vikings. I didn't fiasco. see the Vikings. Yeah, I didn't see it. Joe, you know how the third down you keep track of how successful you are. Sure. The boys were two for thirteen. That's not very good. Two for thirteen. <laughs> and Did the we, offense score a touchdown? Yeah, one right. Yes, one Jordan was Addison. A, Jordan scored. Hicks picked up a yep. fumble for the other one, I think, and then he kicked a couple of field goals. But uh, two for 13 on third down. And this was against a team that was averaging, the, the opponents before yesterday were averaging 57% success on oh, third down man. against the terrible Bears. But what they did do is the uh, crafty new defensive coach did not believe this nonsense about Justin Fields being better as a quarterback. And he just said, go get him, and he'll get rattled. And uh, that's exactly what happened. They have to play Frisco a week from tonight, but, home game. But, Is Purdy hurt? Purdy's not hurt, but the two stars, McCaffrey and Samuel, are hurt. The, oh. the, and the Trent uh, Williams, the left tackle, also uh, might miss the game. Miss, yeah, so they uh, they are crippled, and Purdy looked terrible yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, they were defeated, weren't yes. they? Yes. By the P.J. Walker-led Cleveland Browns. Jeez. Now, I watched a little of that game. 25 penalties were assessed. It was a complete mess. And uh, it was just one of those random games where you got an NFL crew, and it wasn't even Hockley. It was some other guy, and it was like, let's call everything today. Yep. And several really cheap penalties on the 49ers. And then a guy missed a field goal at the buzzer, so... A kid they drafted in the... Moody, right? The Michigan kid? They drafted him in the third yep. round to get him in there. Plenty of distance, but you could see off the foot it wasn't going to be good. Your Detroit Lions are 5-1. Five 5-1. And five and one. They, uh, I, I was poo-pooing the idea that they would be good, but they look pretty good compared to everybody else. They handled Tampa. Just got ejected. Jesus. Scared From the hell out of me. Detroit it. Don deserves a yes. couple of seconds of I recognition. Bet he, somebody should get him on. I wonder if he's doing any. Uh, he's going to be a point three at every I game. I wonder now. if he's still alive, Detroit Don. Well, that's a good he question. Sounds like he was working on liver cancer, but uh, I don't know <laughs> on that thing. You know, it sounds like maybe he was opening himself up to some various could cirrhosis. Be. I, could be. You know, you know what you don't hear much about anymore? Cirrhosis. Do well, people, I, you know what? I, I Not that I, not that, I know, haven't been, been paying attention. Yeah, but he's, you know, he used to say, well, he die of cirrhosis. Yeah. They don't hear that anymore. Well, I, the only reference point we've had in Garage Logic was uh, Kenny uh, renamed his pontoon the Cirrhosis of the River. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, let me try here. All right. CIS. H no, you're wrong already. It's not cirrhosis. 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 Isn't it an S? I think it's cirrhosis. C I R. C I R. Okay. O H H. Cirro. H O S I S. I S. Two S. C I R R. H O S I S. I am out Two of the R's. I am out of the same We're out game. Of the B. Spiel, We're out of the B. B. I'm out. You know, when you see one of these spelling bees, 
They never throw names of diseases at them, right. you know, which are very tough to spell. That's right. Yeah, that's what they, you know, for instance, a plantar fasciitis. Spell yeah. fasciitis. Let me try. They're going to screw up. F-A-S-C-I-F-A-S-C-I-F-A-S-C-I. A-T-I-U-S? I don't See, know. See, here's the thing. Two I's. And two I's and fasciitis? They throw it in. A, a two I, back to back after the C, right? Uh-huh. I-I-T-I-S? A, F-A-S-C-I-I-T-I-S, is it? Or is it I'll T's? take your word. I was just looking up. The, you know, when you look up the definition of a word, with it being a medical condition, they give you the symptoms and the signs and what to look mm-hmm. for You're and things like now? that. Well, I was just checking it yeah. out to see if there's yeah. you know. fasciitis would be a very tough one. Even even some of those little Asian kids could get confused by that. <laughs> you know, why don't they just call it the instead of the national spelling bee? Why don't they call it the all Asian all star spelling bee? What? And those kids memorize the dictionary. They, yes, and they got the very strict parents. Yeah. The parents won't let them go out to a movie unless they can spell, like, every fasciitis. word. Every, yeah, fasciitis and stuff. My like favorite, that. though, Pat, you mentioned the uh, the unwatchability of that. It was oh, tough God, to watch that terrible. ball game yesterday. But the, the fan reaction of the big win over the division rival, when it has to be pointed out, yes, um, they did win the mm-hmm. game. But it only took... A Division Two backup quarterback, quarterback showing it, th- uh, throwing throw it short ju- to throw a jump ball <laughs> oh. down at. Th- Do you know the team is dedicated to losing when their backup quarterback is a rookie who played Joe at Shepherd College? Never heard of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Suhan pointed out in his column today that his last college game was against the Colorado School of Mines where they got beat by 40 points, Holy and mackerel. he was a minus 40 rushing. Well, how something. was he on the team? Because they didn't go get a— uh, They, they put, wanted somebody cheap. They did. They they let, you know, the famous Nathan Peterman go to keep this kid. You got a ball game starting at, at 3.30 Oh, today. yeah, I'll go and watch that dang yeah. thing. I think so. I'm, the uh, National League is first? Yeah. Okay. No, no, American League. League. League Texas and Houston. Houston, uh, I don't know what has happened with this Jeff Montgomery, but nobody can get a hit off him all of a sudden. The Yankees let him go, uh, gave him to Texas for nothing, really. And uh, he's been dazzling everybody in the postseason. It's incredible. Did you watch any of that game last night? Yes. The, uh, The kid, the phenom. Who came up and at age 21 and on late early September, and has been Carter. That was a nice catch he made out there in that little mm-hmm. hole they got behind. I would have watched some Giants uh, Buffalo, but there was no weather. It was too oh. nice out. Boy, there was, was a also lot a really of bad ugly game. football. Yeah, yeah. they <laughs> had somebody ugly. go down like Hamlin. Yep. Yes. Where they had the ambulance and the whole deal. Is he okay? I, I wonder. I said the last two night games that I've watched. We got a sideline report saying, I uh, got a report from the hospital. His limbs are working. Good. He's, he's uh, you know, he's, it doesn't appear that he's fully paralyzed. Oh. So that's good. You know, what a game. What a somebody's game. Somebody's going to die, Pat. Oh, God, yes. This year, maybe. Yeah. Or yeah. next year. But somebody's going to die. Yeah. Because just, it's too, it's just. They're you, too damn, They're too big. They're too fast. And they're they too hit fast. They each other like, oof. And, uh, you know, okay, he only hit him in the shoulder going 100 miles an hour <laughs> yeah. with his with his helmet. He didn't hit him in the chin, so it's not a penalty. So. Do you know how the Iron Dome works in Israel? You've heard of it. It don't work anymore. It well, works. Yeah, it works. But Have you, Do you know what it is? I think it's just a lot of missiles, right, that we shoot at their missiles. Saturday, I heard the, the, on the radio, satellite radio, of a reporter saying, "Oh, they're firing missiles. Let's let's listen for the Iron Dome." And she she said, "Here comes a missile." And then you'll hear, Thump. "Really? Oh, there's one. Really? Another one. Thump. There's two. Just like that. Thump. Something's picking them off. Uh, you know, magic. Mm. 
Well, it's neat, whatever it is. You, neat. Uh, do we have a uh, scud stud uh, sitting on the roof like we did in the first Iraq, the first war over there? But is this Reagan? Remember when he wanted Star Wars? That's what the I Iron Dome's got to be. I don't know. They put it be. in quite a while ago. But uh, do you believe that Nettie was hint, tipped off that this stuff was that they were practicing for this invasion? And well, they didn't if he do was tipped about off, it? he's he's got a lot to account for, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. He yeah. does. Those, I don't know. Those hang gliders, those guys with machine guns on hang gliders, that ain't good. No, no. that's that's a bad sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, know you're parachuting in parachuting in too. Are you talking about those those hand yeah, gliding parachutes? Yeah. 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 That uh, it's uh, it's pretty ugly to say the least, but uh, you know, I, I have no idea what the uh, politics over there with Egypt is. That the Egypt doesn't let these people. Yeah, they do, they escape. don't want to let them in. Well, I suppose they don't trust them. Maybe I don't know that some of them are Hamas. So, I think there's a, is there a golf course in Israel? I wonder. Ah, oh, they got to be a little golf. Not right now. It probably doesn't have a lot of tea times right now. Probably, you probably get on. <laughs> I would guess it's pretty bad. I'm yeah. glad I wasn't I over been, there in one of those tours. Right. I now. haven't been spending a lot of time watching it because it uh, makes you vomit. Yeah, so. I haven't either. Uh, I didn't watch golf either. I didn't see Tom Kim win the Shriners in youngest, Vegas. Youngest player ever, including Eldrick, to win three tournaments in a year. 21, I believe. I thought it was the youngest player ever to defend a title. Also to win three tournaments Jeez. this year. Is he the chubby one? Yeah, he's kind of chubby. He's the chubby career. Yep. Yeah, I get my Kims mixed up. and I. But he's I, probably, what, I, L.A. kid I, or something? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's, but there's a lot of Kims. I've yeah. said Kim's my, my biggest problem with, well, I got big problems with North Korea. Right. Big problems. But South Korea, my biggest problem is they don't have enough last names. No, there's they very got few. like four or right. five last names. You need more last names. Kim Chang. Yeah. Well, Yang. We, we, earlier today, Chow. we discussed surnames Chow. in this country. Right. So they would just have a top five, period. Right. Right. No, well, they only got five. There's That's like what I'm saying. The, they would only have a top half five. Half the population is Kim. Really? I mean, seriously. Yeah. And like Park. Fifth, or, yeah, Park. Park is like Smith. Extreme number of parks. Yeah. Yeah, but Kim is like Jones and then squared a lot. And hey, a lot speaking of, of that, is our park still playing? The guy that played for the Twins? Is, yeah, wasn't he a I monster? Was, I was playing in the Korean League a couple of years ago, I looked, but I'm not sure he still does. Because he hit some moonshots, man. Some moonshots, yeah. Just unfortunately, a uh, little lacking in bat speed. Yeah, that, that, that was a problem. Here. That was a problem. So, Because I think he, doesn't he still have the longest home run in target field history? I don't think so. Oh, I, I thought know. he did. What was his first name? Uh, Byo Young B- 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 Park. Begin with a B. B- Wong- Byo Young Park? Yeah, something like something that. Something like that. Well, yeah, yeah what happened gonna, to him? He was going to DH so we could put <laughs> so we could put Nifty Miguel out in right field. Oh, that that's yeah. right. Yeah, Miguel was going <laughs> to... Miguel was going to sprint around as the first 270-pound right fielder in history. And even He weighed even more than Frank Howard, who was seven foot tall. You know what he lacked in the outfield? Grace. <laughs> yes, he did. And you know who told me in person, sitting there eating his lunch at the Boston Complex, that it was the dumbest idea ever? Big Poppy. Really? Big, it was the, that was his last year, mm-hmm. and we got a me and uh, Dave Dorsey from Fort Myers got like an hour sit down with him eating lunch. Great interview, but 15 minutes of it was how stupid the twins were <laughs> wanting to play this gigantic human being in the right field. And uh, you want a gazelle out there? No, but plus they were ma- they were upset that he came up as a DH here and gained about 15 pounds in two months. Yeah. And they thought, well, he needs a position, but we got Trevor Plouffe at third, so we're going to put him out in right field. Well, they should have put Plouffe in right field if they wanted to right. do something. So that didn't work out too He well. didn't play anywhere this year, did he? No, they had a tr- – I checked on what happened. He was they were he was in Tampa allegedly working out and then they had an invitation to all major league teams to come and watch him play and his he was big 
Ooh. And he was slow. His oh. bat was slow, and he was just completely out of shape. So uh, they just... He went back to the Dominican and was going to try it again this year. Whether he's been working out or not, I don't know. He's never going to play again, is he? Well, wow. he could. I mean, what if he shows up at 260 instead of 300? So. I don't like those chances, but yeah. that's too bad. What a waste of talent. And he, uh, his last contract was 30 mil, counting the buyout. I think he can. He did a pretty good job of uh, urinating away his three point five million dollars signing bonus in the start. So I'm a little worried about him financially. That he might. What would kick you away do? What would you do with Buxton uh, starting in they training camp? They gave him camp. surgery, and they they're going to try to play him in center. I field. would say you're the center fielder. Yep. And if it don't work, it don't work. If it doesn't work, uh, they have an insurance policy to cover I don't that contract. Think so. You don't? No. They better have. They had a very they they might have gotten some insurance, but it would have been ungodly expensive because of his injury history. And, and don't you don't, you root, don't and you don't get to rest if your finger hurts or something well, stupid hurts. You know, I don't, no, you play center field. That's it. Yeah. You're done. And and uh and maybe make it five days a week instead of seven, you know. They'll give them some rest, but they, <laughs> no, they you got we're, the we're not on the same page. You <laughs> got the patella, right? You got that patella. Mm -hmm. This is behind the patella. Yeah, they're going to fix it, though. This is, but they went in there and they took out the pitley or something. Well, some there's stuff they got. There's, there's extra stuff in yeah, there. This is also they, his fifth they, knee surgery or something. Well, that's but too they, bad. You're playing this, center this field. This is the first time they went under it oh. and took away this thing. Mm -hmm. That supposedly was irritating it, and they're gonna. The idea is take him to spring training and hope he can play center field. He, and if he'll, he can't, he, then it's over. He he'll rehab. He'll work hard. Oh God, yes. He'll get his. So when you show up in Fort Myers, there, Byron, you're the center fielder. That's what he wants to be. He doesn't want a DH. All right, because he's seen himself as a DH, and mm -hmm. it ain't good. Mm -hmm. So uh, all that being said, I would still bring back Taylor. While trying to play Bucks gonna, in the outfield. Gonna, I don't think they will. Is it a given you're going to lose Ryan? Not Joe. You mean Gray. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray. I'm sorry. Sonny Joe, Gray. Joe, I said last week, they're taking a $40 million hit on local TV. They might get 15 of that yeah. back. They also, their payroll was almost up to $150 million by the end of the year. Uh, they're going to go down. Sonny Gray will be gone. Taylor will probably be gone just for money reasons. Kepler, they can trade uh, him. If they could trade Kepler, they got a bunch of left-handed hitting outfielders. I would think they should try to trade Kepler. Jorge, I don't know, maybe he'll be the DH or something. Uh, no, he's not the DH. Julie, him and Julian can alternate between DH and second base. But, will Polanco uh, be back? That's what I'm saying, Jorge. I think he, I guess, maybe, but he hasn't been healthy either. No. I don't know. Dep I think you're more apt to get something in a trade for Kepler than you are Polanco because of Polanco's recent injury history. So it, it'll be interesting, though. They're gonna, I'm, a, I'm okay with the Max Kepler era being over. I'm okay with he was He good. had a nice July he was good and August. For two, three months. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. He also looked at strike three with Twice. the season on the line. Twice. Twice. Yeah, Twice. but it was off the plate, and we got, we got robbed out of three runs in the playoffs. That if the umpers had been oh. fair. Now, how we reach that idea that it's three, apparently we know the analytic guys are so smart, they know what the next guy would have done oh, if sure. Kepler had walked, yeah. even oh, though he yeah. never batted. They yeah. know that the odds, I, I, it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard because it's all make believe, mm -hmm. it's all based on unknowns. It's, uh, you know, there was a great graph. I, I forgot to text it to you, Pat, but I saw it on Twitter. Over the weekend at some point, and it's got the picture of Dusty Baker and Bruce Bochy in the head to head matchup of the ALCS. It said, Take your saber metrics and shove them up here. <laughs> it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, well, Bochy's kind of a guy. I mean, he's. But they're both a... as old school as it gets oh, yeah, in they're baseball. They're both in their 70s. I gotta Dusty's got to be 75. Dusty's 71. 71? I thought he yeah. was older than that. Mm. And Bochy's the same age, I think. Mm. I got to give you this. Somebody sent me this. Where the hell is it? <laughs> Where the heck is it? Here I we go. I shouldn't use profanity. On That's it. right, because you, you hell tend is to the use... least of your problems. <laughs> 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 Where is it? Clark Griffith sent me this. Where'd it go? 
the number of strikeouts oh, this year God. in Major League Baseball was, where the hell are you? Come on. You're talking thousand. about the league as as a whole? I think it was 40,000 or oh something. I don't know what the hell the number was, but it was some ungodly number. Uh, I must have trimmed it, kicked it out. 40,000 <laughs> strikeouts? Yeah, something like that. Well, I don't know. We, we had all by ourselves. Oh, I had, suppose, yeah. All by ourselves, we had 1,641, 54, I mean, wow. all-time record. Including 28 in the se- last two playoff games. And then seven. Well, that don't get, that's added. Uh, the regular season was 1,654. So you add the 73 from the postseason, they got over 1,700. Wow. But we don't care. We we pretty we had a story in the strip. I'm sure St. Paul probably did too, about the the, the postseason press conference they hold saying we're going to keep striking out. This is our approach. We're going to try to drive the ball. Okay. Well, when the pitching gets and better, then, that and, tends and, to be a bad and philosophy. Everybody wants everybody wants the uh, automated strike zone. You know, mm-hmm. be careful what you ask for. The biggest problem baseball faces now is putting the ball in play getting guys to swing the bat. And if they make the strike zone tighter, all it's going to lead to is more walks. Mm-hmm. If And, you know, if yep. the umpire, if we don't have umpires whim anymore, there's going to be less reason than ever to swing the bat. And one reason the Twins struck out so much on alleged non-strikes is they take more pitches than any team in baseball mm-hmm. trying to drive the ball. So, anyway. I, I have no sympathy for their uh, their hitting woes against the Astros. The this would have been a games. fun time to be with the Wild just for that little swing to Toronto and Montreal. How good is Austin Matthews? Pretty He's good. off to a good start. He's nice start. Six goals in two games. That's a nice start. Decent little yes. start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they, did you watch much of that one? Not I didn't a lot of it. Of I saw enough to know the boys were in trouble. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, Gus, Gusty is off his mind yep. in the opener. And he gives up seven the next game. What the hell? That's Austin can play. Huh? Austin can play. But the guy I can't wait to see is Connor Bedard. Everybody has uh, got the phenomenon, but he's only got one goal so far, yeah, right? Goal and assist so far. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Did they play last night? I, I don't know. I haven't kept we up with my not NHL the Star box Tribune, scores. I hate to admit this, the Star Tribune no longer is running either NHL or NBA Box scores in print. You have to go online oh, to find them. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? Space for wise. Pete's sake. Space wise. We don't have as much space as we used to, and we don't have as much manpower to process those things. So they're not going to have NHL or NBA. And I would think come next year, the hammer might come down and we might not have big league box scores oh, in print. Oh, no. That would be very hard well, on that, me. Well, there's... <laughs> mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm speechless. you got to have NHL box scores. Especially the way we do them, which is like only the goals. Right. <laughs> the only the goals, the goaltender, how many saves they made in the attendance. Chicago really. lost to Montreal Saturday night 3-2. to two. Mm-hmm. I don't, but I can't tell you, you now. Tell here, why don't I go online? Yeah, I'll gotta, go online. Go I don't online. want to go online. <laughs> I want it right here in the paper. I agree with you, but uh, what the... Golly. You know, you know what, Joe? Then quit giving so much... Here's where you can save your paper in your ink. Trim back this Viking BS. <laughs> you don't need five pages every yeah, time they play. You can, you can uh, tell them to go online for one of those stories. They uh, they only had two games in the NHL yesterday, and Chicago was not one of them. No, Saturday night they lost to Montreal. Right. Yesterday, three to two. The Lightning played the Sens. Uh, Saturday night the uh, Chicago's played. You were asking about yesterday. No, I didn't. Saturday they played and lost to Montreal three to two. I was just wondering if Bedard scored. Gotcha. And I can't I count on this paper. No. Are you still? Is the Pioneer Press still running them? Oh, uh, now that you mention it, I I'll have to look. Probably <laughs> not. Well, what you can do then, Joe, is tomorrow morning you can go online and see the result of the Blackhawks and Maple Leafs game tonight. Tonight, ooh, that'll be fun. Oh, boy, Austin Matthews versus Bedard. Where is it in Toronto? In Toronto. Ooh. You know what? That's not even on TV. That should be on TV, on your I mean, NHL we, network. You should have the package. It's not on. It's this not in your paper. This, it's being offered. This says it's going to be on NBC SCH, whatever that is. Uh, that means NBC 
Is that their sports network? NBC uh, Sports? NBC SSN, I thought. I think that's probably uh, a special. Uh, it's like ESPN Plus. Got it. Guess. The Ocho. Jeez, I'd like to see that game. Yes. Although Ken Burns uh, owed the Buffalo is on tonight. His oh, documentary really? on the Buffalo. Is he pro Buffalo? Well, I think he is. <laughs> And, but I want to watch it to see how he gets a race angle in there. Is this just <laughs> well, we're sh- we're shooting them and well, but the he'll, Indians, there'll be some. There, well, the American Indians. This was they they took. We care did of, something wrong. Let's put it that way. Yeah, we just went out and shot them. You know, so did the Indians. Yes, but they did it for meat. And well, we shelter. did it for meat and we coats. Yeah, we did it for to make I'm coats. I'm just telling you, I want to see how bad Ken Burns admonishes I, But us. how many episodes? Just one? I think it's just two. Just two. Uh, well, 7 o'clock lazy, tonight, 9 o'clock tonight. his old age, man. Yeah. You know, I love I love the baseball series, but you can't turn on TV anymore without having the damn thing on. Let's uh, go. I want to see the Buffalo. Okay, I might watch that too. Yeah. Well, that means yeah. I'd have to give up. San Diego and whoever's playing them, but I don't think they're that good. Not San Diego, L.A. Chargers. The L.A. Chargers, yes. And then I have to give up a baseball game. You know, the world is a better, is a worse place since the Chargers left San Diego. I agree agree with you. They They are fit there. They had that. When those uniforms were associated with the Pacific Ocean right there where they played next to it uh, back in the day, you know, I, I I would watch the Chargers and think of Balboa Stadium up yes. on the hill looking yes. over the ocean. And now you see these guys, and they're the second-class tenant in this a math $2.5 billion edifice. I don't know. No, I don't, you know. I, I disapprove. I don't. You know what I don't like? I got to get you Here over there. Here we go. I got to get you over there. Adding it to the list. I don't like the Ziggy Dome. I've not been big. there yet. Too big. You still haven't been I'm there. Not be- you know what? Too I big. don't feel bad that I haven't been no, there. No, it's too big. Why were you there recently, Patrick? I or is this just a general I, assessment? Yes, a general assessment, but I was there where, when? Not that long ago. I don't know why, though. High school football? Yeah, maybe. Did we have a high school football? No, no, thing no, recently? no. I don't know when it was. Okay. Within the last six months. You weren't there for know. Taylor Swift, were you? No, I missed her. <laughs> But well, the I'm videos I, I saw of that showed me a big building. Yeah. Yes. And I'm glad I didn't go to see Taylor because she turned her, thumbed her nose at Minneapolis. That's true. St. Paul. She showed up in she New York. She showed up for every other game this guy played, but she didn't show up here. This you know? guy needs some wardrobe help. Mm-hmm. He's still this, wearing this leisure is, suits. This is not going to work. Oh, no. She's, big lug well, she her. burns through them pretty fast. <laughs> but he's wearing leisure suits. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Uh, that was 1973. And if anyone knows fashion, it's me. That's yeah. right. You know who has options, though? Taylor Swift. Has I think options. so. She has options. She has options. And she's with this rube. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like a. Well, dumb. they both, uh, I believe, made appearances on Saturday Night Live oh, this past they? weekend. Yes, mm-hmm. and that so so he's taking so little interest in the Chiefs that he's. Well, they played he's Thursday gone. night. Oh, okay. He had the yeah. weekend off, so oh, he went okay. to New York with uh, his gal. Okay. And then, and then I guess he went to Philly to watch his brother. Well, play. they probably you they're know, not having premarital relations. I would they? hope not. No, no God, heavens, they're not married. No, heavens, no. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, but my yeah. guess is, you know, they went to town to maybe watch the debut of her new movie that, oh, that yeah. Uh, yeah. debuted it, it, this weekend. It, I saw. The, and he wore a leisure suit. He did. I'm not kidding you. I saw my theater. Had it's a theater. Theater, theater, yeah. theater, whatever. I saw that it had on its eight screens. About five of them were dedicated to Taylor's oh, movie, which really? uh, what's it take an hour and a half? They had it. Yeah, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six times starting. And they were probably yeah. all packed. And too. the other thing, and the other was uh, Barbie. That's a if 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 I want to go to the movie, I got the choice between Taylor Swift and Barbie. No, you're not going. No, I think I'll go see the new Scorsese movie though in the theater. Probably. I think he's I think he's lost. But he, wouldn't you think Taylor would say to him, "Look, uh, 
you got to do something about these suits. Yeah, yeah, I can't be seen. I mean, I'm a big shot, and you're yeah. a big shot, but I'm a bigger <laughs> shot than you. Yes. And if bigger. you're going to be have me with you, you got to get a suit or something. What if she goes up to him and says, with these leisure suits, you got to wear these twist-up shoes? <laughs> well, I have those so to, with a knob. Yeah. Twisty shoes. I got twisty. I think she could. And Pat she was could. bothered by that because he said, well, what, wait a minute. I've come back. I've got great. thoughts. I was halfway down the hall and I had <laughs> thought. I said, it's a mechanical thing. What if it breaks? What happens? Your shoes are gone. See, the whole, the whole gotta, key is you, you gotta don't gotta crank flop, them too tight. You got to flop around <laughs> like bows of the clock. You, cra- <laughs> you crank them just so. You, yeah, but you put them on. Yeah, and then, then you the give them a little crank. Give them a little crank. But the mechanics don't work, and all of a sudden you're flopping down the hall <laughs> with these shoes that are an extra six inches long. Remember the shoes when we were kids that had the tongue? That yes. flipped. Oh, the tongue, the white. Oh, that was. Was that to protect a, the laces? No, no, no just, laces, just, just the flipping cool. tongue. This was, was for really was Elvis dumb type kids shoes. like me. I loved them. Yeah. White bucks. Oh, yeah. You could get the white bucks with the, with the flipping fashion, tongue. With the flipping See, we had the Velcro I wonder shoes. if there's got to be some of those, those somewhere. Cool. I love those. Over. Yeah. Except I had kind of the high arch. Once yeah. in a while, it'd go, ah! I'd snap, it'd, it'd snap in there and tear your skin up. But, uh, yeah, I forgot all about those. Those were, they the were You know what they're considered racy? They were in the really, city, they were kind of a hoodlum. Oh, shoot. really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I've... Do you ever have the white bucks? I did, I think. Yeah, I with, the, with the orange sole? Yes, was, yes. God, we were cool with oh, those. Oh, we were. Yeah. <laughs> white bucks. Then we go to Worthington in the hoods to see us with the white bucks oh, yeah. and kick the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the mean yeah. streets the of hoods. Worthington. <laughs> Don't ever stop and talk out of the car window a Worthington girl. Because yeah. there might be some hoods behind oh, you. Oh, you never know. They'll pull you out of the car and beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Look like Marlon Brando and the wild things, you know. <laughs> wild thing. It was uh, very dangerous. Well, he... But that's where we'd go on MEA week. Sure, Worthington. 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 See yeah. what was happening at the Turkey Cafe, whatever the hell the name of that place. Was. <laughs> well, your uh, your partner is looking at his watch, but yeah. I agree. I told the sales staff, Patrick, so do, that you would do your Valley Group ad in content. Well, let's do it. Sure. So we've got to do it here, but then we've got to give them some more content after the ad is over Couple to separate of, the problem. spots. Couple of minutes. Not a problem. Couple of minutes. Yeah. Not a problem. Valley Group of GM dealers. Yes. Auto dealers. How does he decide Hast- which word to emphasize? Hast- <laughs> Hastings and Apple Valley. That's where I've done my business. Apple Valley, Jim Paul, Brett Paul. Go out there. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to Argue, you no. know, they just give you a dang good price, and you buy the car. My last five new vehicles I bought over the last twelve years or so. I haven't had one now for three years. I'm very proud of what myself. What about paperwork? You very don't like paperwork? Not much paperwork there either. All right. You know, they just the salesman does all the paperwork. You look at it and sign. You go right in there, and the financial guy takes care of everything. And uh, you get you get in and out of there, buy a new car, about an hour and a half. That's max. not bad. Look at it. Say, yeah, I like that one. You buy her. You go in there. You sign it up. And uh, it's uh, it's great. And these Buicks, they got, now I haven't ever owned an SUV, but they got what I'd consider nice-looking SUVs. Mm-hmm. You can The hockey equipment will fit in the back. Yep. The hockey equipment will not fit in the back of my Buick uh, Cascade convertible, but it will fit in the back of one of these fantastic SUVs. So if you're a parent with hockey players, go out and make a deal at uh, in Apple Valley at the Valley Group of GM dealers, Hastings and Apple Valley. I know from experience they'll take good care of you. Very good. Uh, I was going to ask you something else, Patrick. Yes. Uh, the the argument about is it bad for baseball if the big hitters don't move on? In other words, you know, Atlanta lost, the Dodgers lost. I don't think it matters, does it? I think it's bad for TV ratings for the World Series that you don't have the die. You don't have LA because I keep saying baseball is kind of a regional sport. Now. Right. But no, I think it's you know the top five winning teams. Didn't make this round. Well, we don't worry about upsets in the NHL, do we? We yeah. don't. The upsets are fine. I think we celebrate. Them. Yes, we do. Florida Panthers last yeah. year limp in. Yep. The 
playoffs and end up in the finals. Weren't they the dang, last team to make the yes, playoffs? Yes, and then dang near won it. It's, it's supposed to be a big crisis in baseball. But uh, I've always said baseball's held to a different standard yep. than other sports. We all get very upset. We're very upset about the strike zone now, but we aren't upset about an NFL game where the 90% of the penalties are just referees' whim. <laughs> I've decided, I think I'll call one now, right? right? The nice little, uh, it was an interference, but... I think there might have been some contact there, so uh, we're going to give them a first down. NFL ref, refs miss more than baseball oh, umpires. Oh, haven't you? Yes. Haven't you? Yes. But here's the deal. That uh, is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not worried by it. Now, I don't want to, uh, I will have to familiarize myself with the Arizona roster if they make the World <laughs> Series. I don't know many of these guys. I love that story, though. Because they, yeah. they, well, they, it was after the Escobar trade, but they said, we got to go in a different direction. Mm-hmm. So they brought in all these kids. This Carroll kid is my it's favorite terrific. guy to watch. And right now, Corbin Carroll. And their uh, good outfielder. And their pitching was going in the tank. And now they're, bull, now they got their bullpen fixed. And they're, and they probably, have they the haven't best. lost yet, right? Did they win them all? No, they did not lose. They, they have not they lost swept, a game. They, they swept the Brewers and, and then they, they swept s- the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah. So um, and this Gallon kid is the best starting pitcher left. I think. You know, I look at his stuff and it doesn't seem to me to be fantastic, but uh, it's, it's never going straight. That's one no, thing. No, that's so. exactly right. Yeah, the only uh, I'm I kind of hope Philly win for the town, but then again, bleep Philly. They need some haircuts. Yeah, they got they a really bad hair need, They got a bad. The barber. <laughs> That barber, he's stealing his money right. if they got a team barber. I'm not there. sure they have a team barber. Pat. No, no, this guy, this Walsh is a disgrace to America. Right, you know he's got. <laughs> they got a bad guy with. They got a guy with a really bad beard. That's Walsh. Too. Walsh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's bad. not good. Then they got other guys with. Looks the like Walsh. Kenny. That then beard. they got the kid. <laughs> then they got the relief pitcher from West Fargo, North Dakota, Strom. Yeah, he's got hair down to here. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I ran into a kid the other day, a young kid, the son of a, the grandson of a twin's per- personality. I shouldn't name him. And and I said, what grade are you in, young lady? And it turned out it was a boy. Oh. So uh, yeah. I said, uh, How you doing? Just, just had long hair, but uh, really, really long hair. But it, it kind of rattled me. Well, but it, there must have been something else that made you think. No, oh. no, no. Just, just yeah. uh, I mean, he was young enough to have... Features that weren't strong, you know. So uh, don't mind was, me. I gotta go wind up my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. I'm gonna get you a pair. I'm gonna get you a pair of white bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna get you some uh, shoes with dials. Yes. Hey, we had a great moment today on the wife. My daughter-in-law uh, has been there with Jim, right? And mm-hmm. she's helping the wife clean up this myriad of. Stuff she has, so she broke out her jewelry today. Mm-hmm. The wife broke out the jewelry which she has in chest, and she's got this kind of really nice necklace that's been there. And she said, "I forgot I have this. I haven't worn it in twenty five years." <laughs> you know, all this stuff. You know, oh God Almighty! Did she give it to Edna? I don't know. I she probably did if she wanted it, but uh, I, I, all but all this stuff and earrings, single, a lot of singles. Yeah, on the earrings, earrings, a lot, of, got earrings. A lot of singles yep. on the earrings. But uh, man alive, what a what a country! Um, finally, <laughs> I got to bring this up. When is your apology to PJ Fleck for what? We only lost to Michigan 52 to 10. Yeah, that's right. They edged Indiana 52 and by to the 7. Way, Indiana, they were like 14 to 7 late in the half. Oh, was it really yeah, that close? Indiana scored first. And then really? she got a little out of hand. <laughs> I guess. She got a little out of hand 52 to 7. I predict a PJ win at Iowa. Come on. 5 to 3. I predict a 5 to th- <laughs> This Iowa team, Joe, is. It's 1938, huh. and they're playing Bernie Bierman. Oh, it's, it's the damnedest thing of all time. <laughs> they got a 250-pound quarterback who passed for 37 yards in the win over Wisconsin and threw one pass in the 
third in the second half. Wow. And their most valuable player is their punter. Really? The punter keeps putting the other team in the six. Well, then he'll the f- get every award <laughs> known to man as the the greatest one of the greatest Hawkeyes ever. He punts. Ben Flex a good pick. I think you're. Pat, I don't think you're on a limb. Perhaps Pat's a. Uh, Fleck has had a week off to get yeah. ready to, but last year Fleck they had Iowa here they could have won the West, and they played down to Iowa's standards. They mm-hmm. didn't try to do anything. You got to try to get the game moving. You can't beat, you can't beat Iowa crawling in the muck. You have to try to because Iowa loves it. They beat Wisconsin fifteen to six, and uh, you know a touchdown. Two field goals and a safety, and I think the touchdown might have been a defensive touchdown. I don't know. It's it's brutal, it's brutal. They uh, so, but they've never beaten them, so it, it'll probably be the over and under on this game. Thirty one. Thirty two and a half. Oh my God! I was kidding. Thirty two <laughs> and a half. Wow. The it's the lowest under over and under in like the twenty five years of recorded college football. Oof. So. Anyway. A barn burner. All right. Yeah. Judd's going down there, so we'll have an eyewitness report on uh, Judd's going to go down and visit his wife's relatives and then uh, go to the game, I guess. so. That's always a fun tailgate. Mm-hmm. That's a <laughs> Judd's, Judd's tales of visiting the wife's relatives on the farm are fantastic. He says, he says <laughs> they encourage the flies to come in <laughs> and help eat the potato salad. Oh. You know those old farm? <laughs> You've been on the farm, Oh, God, man. yes. Yeah. Potato salad is the greatest a- attractor of flies oh, yes. in the history of man. You better eat. Oh, a million. Those picnics on a farm. I see, even in my house, I spent close the screen door. <laughs> I spent. I yell at every time we're now. I've moved every all eating if we are entertaining inside. No more outside. No more. No oh, I can outside. add that to the list too. And close the no screen. No outdoor door. eating. Outdoor no. dining. If you want to eat a dog. You know, okay. Yeah. But if anything that will attract varmints, you right. know, flies, no, well, none of that. No potato salad, no cucumber salad, none of that crap. <laughs> Nothing that will attract flies. Outdoor yeah. dining. Don't I like hate, it. I hate flies. <laughs> yeah. All right. See you. Yeah. This is Ricey, and you've heard me discuss my relationship with Josh Arnold for some time. The reason I recommend that you give Josh a call is simple, trust and results. Josh has seen it all when it comes to economic and market conditions. As has been said through all of our relationship, past results do not guarantee future returns. And while that is true, Josh can make sure that your retirement objectives match your investments. You can understand that Josh will make sure you are not paying more in fees than you are seen in returns. Yep, that is more common than you would like to think in the investment business. Do yourself a favor and have a booking with Josh for the 48-minute free evaluation. This is a no-obligation meeting. Call Josh at 952-925-5608. You will be glad you did. And don't forget to ask him why it is 48 minutes. Investment services offered by Josh Arnold Investment Consultant, LLC, a security investment advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. All investments involved risk. All comments and opinions are Josh Arnold's and do not constitute investment advice. Patrick Royce is a paid endorser.